The name Harvey Bailey doesn't have quite the same ring as other uh, famous bank robbers, but he was known during his time as the Dean of Bank Robbers. In the uh, time period between about 1920 through 1933, it's said that uh, Harvey and his gang robbed approximately two banks a year uh, during that 12 to 13 year time frame. One of those was in Nebraska to where they made away with a little more than two million dollars. Harvey was arrested in 1933 during a golf game with some friends. Uh, he was sentenced to Leavenworth Prison in Kansas where he stayed for a while until he and several other prisoners made their escape. They made their way down to Texas to some property owned by Machine Gun Kelly's wife to where he was caught again and uh, brought to a local jail there. During his time in that Dallas cell, he was able to cut through the bars and escape once again. Harvey was suspected of being uh, one of the gunmen during the St. Valentine's Day Massacre and the Kansas City Massacre. He was actually found guilty of a kidnapping with Machine Gun Kelly of Charles Urschel. Although uh, later it's, it's been said that he didn't participate in that, he was found with some of the ransom money in his pocket, uh, which led to his uh, arrest and conviction of that crime. Harvey spent uh, 20 years in a relatively new prison in San Francisco, Alcatraz Island, before being moved to a smaller correctional institution in Texas. And it was shortly thereafter, in 1964, that he was paroled. Although Harvey was born in West Virginia and grew up in North Central Missouri, he made the decision to come back and live out his life in Joplin, Missouri. A couple years after settling in Joplin, Harvey did marry Esther Mary uh, Farmer. And Mary was the widow of a notable outlaw, uh, Herb Farmer. Harvey is actually buried here in the Forest Park Cemetery just off of Rangeline across from North Park Mall on the southeast corner. You can see here the uh, headstone of John H. Bailey Harvey and Mary Bailey. But just uh, four headstones down is the uh, headstone of Herb I. Farmer, and as you can see next to that is Esther M. And you can see that she was intended to be buried next to Herb, but was actually buried uh, down just four headstones next to Harvey. So Harvey's a little bit different um, of a Joplin story in that uh, he wasn't born in Joplin, and, and really he only spent, like I said, the last 15 years of his life here. Uh, most of his crimes were committed throughout the Midwest. Uh, but he did spend those final years here and he is, uh, his remains are here forever. So I wanted to share that story as well. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you feel so compelled, please click the like button. Uh, let me know that, that you enjoy it, that I'm, I'm out here finding these stories uh, and leave any comments that you have. Uh, I'd love to hear more. Maybe give me some ideas of ideas that you want to hear me uh, discuss. I'd love to keep uh, finding different stories to share with you guys. Thanks again.